Kevin Sadler here at Kettering Kickoff, checking team number 7211, Hollywood, coming in. Uh, I love this team name, by the way, which I found out is from Holly, Michigan. I wasn't sure if we have like some weird red carpet thing or something like that going on, but uh, I'd love to see uh, more about this robot. So by the way, I have Xander and Zach. We're going to see more about this robot. And take a look, a very unique uh, barrel design here uh, for their shooter as well. So, of course, we'll be diving more into that. Uh, some cool aesthetics on this team. And, of course, we'll be going through the climber sequence all coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Continue your excitement of robotics at Kettering University with their combat robotics team and first center. Turn your robotics experience into a professional career. Find out more and get your application started at kettering.edu slash apply. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. So, Zach, we're going to start off following the uh, ball path, uh, really focusing on your hopper area and then also your uh, shooter sub, which is really unique. Tell me more about it. So. Uh, we have the hopper, which we've been calling the gobbler recently. Down here, um, we, we decided to put this little uh, tongue sticker on here just, just for fun. Um, what it does is uh, the balls come in through here, and uh, they, they get pulled in from just about any angle, actually. And uh, they get pulled in here, and in, uh, they, in the tube we have uh, IR sensors, which help us detect where the ball's positioned in said tube so uh, the robot can automatically determine where to put the ball uh, and how many there are in it. So once we've got both balls in, it'll roll them up. And then up at the top here, um, you can see we have these big uh, pneumatic wheels. Uh, they will rev up like so, and the ball will come flying out in either the high or low goal, depending on where we choose. How did you come up with this sort of uh, packaging and design for your robot in the first place versus, you know, this more unique versus some of the other teams we've seen out there? Well, we went through a good couple of weeks of brainstorming for the shooter alone, actually, and um, we ended up going with this because uh, it emulated a sort of cannon function, and uh, in old times, cannons shot very far. So we figured, well, if we put the wheels at the top, similar to what we've seen in other teams, um, there will be, you know, good, uh, good momentum and trajectory, and it, it performed brilliantly. Uh, so we stuck with this design, and there's tubes on the insides here so that uh, the ball does not get stuck going down the tube because that, that did happen in pre-development stages and like prototypes. Uh, that was very, uh, <laughs> that was an interesting problem to solve. Let's see a uh, cargo so, come in, yeah, and, and just kind of walk me through what's happening in each step. So as you can see, we've, been, we've pulled the ball in. It's currently sitting at the bottom of the tube, and uh, as it goes up the tube, these wheels will be spinning and uh, it'll get to uh, just below the wheels up here, and then it'll do that. And as so, low goal. So when your uh, team was testing, uh, two questions on here. Uh, from your choice of using like the large pneumatic wheels, did you use any other type of wheels in your testing at all, and why was this best for you? Uh, that worked best because it had the most traction and it wouldn't crush the balls. So what we found was that like this type of wheel would end up either being too small or too large, and it would cause issues spinning the ball out, and it would go different directions or just wouldn't come out at all. So we picked these because they had better treads and they could squish so that it, the ball would get good traction, uh, good hold, but it wouldn't stop or be shot weird. And where do you guys uh, like to shoot from on the field? Um, we generally like to shoot from uh, like the edge of uh, the, uh, the tarmac, somewhere around there. We can shoot from any angle, though. Let's uh, hand it over to Xander, talk more about your uh, climbing mechanism, talk more about it. Uh, a couple of modifications I know to it, and then let's uh, show off a demonstration and narrate through that. So what we have here on our climber are actually two sets of uh, climbers in a box, but with different stages. As you can see on our first climber, we have the two stage, this will come up, and then another set of arms will come up after that. And that helps us get up the bar really fast because we changed the gear ratio in this arm to make it spin faster as opposed to the gear ratio in this arm which is stronger so we can hold on to that bar. So can you uh, show up a uh, demo of the climber going kind of narrate through that process and how that works? So our first step to climbing will be to get our first arms up 
and over the bar. When we've locked onto the bar, we will deploy the second arms and raise those up as well. After the second arms are up, we will pull our first arms down, and when it's down here, the second bar will be hooked onto this hook. After that, we can start pulling in our second arms, and we can close the robot so the first arms can get back up on the high bar. After that, we repeat the process again, where we pull, we push these out, and the arms come down as the second arms come up, and then we close on the second on the traversal bar. Have you guys done a little bit of modification to the uh, uh, grabbers to tell me more so about that? Some of the trouble we were having with this, these hooks up here, is that they were way too rounded and they would lock the robot onto the bar. So with this flat hook design, we can pull ourselves off the bar without having to rotate hooks or worry about getting locked. Well, 7211 Hollywood, thank you so much for taking time to tell us about your robot. Uh, been building great roads. It's only a team for a couple of years now, but uh, definitely standing out in Michigan. And can't wait to see, of course, how you do here at Kettering Kickoff and in future years as well. Thanks a lot. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Continue your excitement of robotics at Kettering University with their combat robotics team and FIRST Center. Turn your robotics experience into a professional career. Find out more and get your application started at kettering.edu apply.